Alright, I'm sure you guys seen this post on multiple different Yu-Gi-Oh threads where like, they make something really good, they're like, can you guys beat my Yu-Gi-Oh board? And the answer is usually, yeah, just throw a kaiju at it. Well, we got one where you cannot kaiju it, and it's no, it's not going to be like, all oh, bandies and you can't normal summon. This is a pretty hard lock. The, even the guy with the back row of bottomless trap pole is no match for this uh, amazing play that we're going to be seeing from Hero Land over here. Uh, but this is some crazy next level stuff. And I feel like dinosaurs, they're looking really, really good right now because uh, even though you have access to make it so your monsters can't be destroyed that are dinosaurs, you're making some other worms over here. And uh, you guys will see this play. It's one of those boards that might be one of the best boards that's realistic to make. I know some people make the most insane boards where it requires like one ofs and it's just really really hard to pull off some of these combos but this is why you cannot kaiju it because he already has a kaiju you can't have the double kaiju i remember the game would it would it would cause like an infinite loop state the guy quits because uh yeah he's not gonna be able to do too much with this out on board now there's another play where it gets even more dirty so i'm gonna go ahead and play that for you guys now this one yeah this one does have a rescue rab but it doesn't really matter because uh, i already showed you guys you don't have to have rescue rab but to pull off this play and uh, also i want to go over a new card that got announced there's a new dinosaur card that's gonna make the deck a lot better uh, but uh, for right now, you gotta run a uh, Caboozles, and Caboozles, uh, not the best. I mean, it's a vanilla at the end of the day. Uh, some people, oh, but it only has 1700. It, it, it doesn't matter, watch. But, anyways, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a deck profile for any of you dinosaur fans out here. But I think this is one of those boards that actually is like one of the tougher boards to break. And before someone says, but, but Asianize, Asianize, I can run a Wing Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode. You get me triggered, I've been getting triggered over that. Because, okay, you, you could tell me, yo, I main deck a Kaiju or two. I believe it. But if you say, yo, I main deck Wing Dragon of Ross Fear, but I tell you, you're a liar. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's not happening, all right? But uh, nonetheless, or I guess Lava Golem. But, like, realistically, no. You, you you know that that's not true. Like, people do not main deck those. You could maybe argue in the side deck, but look at this board that he's made. I mean, all these back row completely useless. Uh, four back row completely useless in 2017. Uh, yeah, welcome to uh, playing Yang Zing Metal Foes. Anyways, uh, so on the board, again, he's already got a Kaiju. He's got the Totally Awesome. He's got Dolka. Uh, but the standard play is you have access to Dolka or Lagia. Then you have a Kaiju, and then you have uh, the True King VFD to stop any effects. So you can stop all effects, this stops even more effects. And then the Shred Beast basically locks your opponent out of playing like an Exodia draw power deck. So, pretty much this is one of the best boards I've ever seen that's realistic to make. Like, it, it is pretty consistent to uh, make. I know some of you guys want the deck profile, and I'll get that to you guys right now. But I also wanted to go over a new card that's coming out, because it is Dinosaur Support. And this will basically give us a hint towards potentially getting to rescue rabbit at multiple in the tcg so i'm going to go ahead and scroll down over here so it's a new card it's just called the megalos uh masher um it doesn't have an effect it's a vanilla monster but the important part it is level four plus it's a water so obviously that's pretty easy to make the uh totally awesome in the tcg plus it's got 2000 decks so basically outclasses caboozles but i know a lot of you guys want the deck profile and i'll give it to you guys now there is two versions of the deck um now one of them plays rescue rabbit and keep in mind guys if you guys go oh, let me type in rescue rabbit rescue rabbit if i could spell all right so in the ocg guys rescue rabbit you can run as many as you want so at that point Maybe uh, in the future we'll get multiple in the TCG because there is a new vanilla coming out and like the only reason why you play the vanilla is because of Rescue Rabbit going to multiple. Like, you know, otherwise there's really no point. But again, there's two different builds. Um, I would say as of right now, um, this one is probably pretty decent. But if Rescue Rabbit goes to three, obviously, guys, play the one with the Rescue Rabbit because Rescue Rabbit is insane at three. <laughs> like, it becomes a huge threat. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile for any of you guys that are interested in playing this perhaps next format. Uh, Zodiac's still pretty expensive deck, so uh, maybe this could be a deck for some of you guys. But anyways, let's jump right into it. So first off, we got one copy of the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I know there's a lot of builds that play, like, multiples of these, but uh, this one's just playing one. Uh, because, again, guys, this is oriented around being making that turn one like uh you can't win i know someone's gonna be like i play wing dragon and ross fear mode asian eyes you're wrong no you you're wrong you don't play that you're you're, you're just trying to uh, trigger me and before the top well, i'm calling it right now top comment on this vid is gonna be by asian eyes i main deck three wing dragon sphere mode in every deck okay you enjoy losing all right anyways uh ultimate conductor tyranno at one triple copies of true king lithozam uh two copies of king maharastos the fathermer uh, then we got the one kaiju that you guys are, of course, going to be going for. So you're, that way your opponent cannot kaiju you because you already control a kaiju. Um, that, that was a really interesting mix-up because a lot of boards are broken by a kaiju. 
Um, but uh, next up, we got the Zephyrano Secret of the Yang Zing. Then we got two copies of Phantasma Macellosaurus. Um, and a lot of people are actually... Okay, I just want to mention as a heads up. A lot of people are main decking Kaijus right now, guys. The dealing with the first turn, Drancia plus another follow-up is just too dirty. So a lot of people are running the Kaiju uh, cards, to, like the, the Kaiju uh, Dark Hole, and then you summon the Kaiju, just to deal with some of the things that Zodiacs can throw out turn one. Uh, but yeah, anyways, Phantasmal Cellosaurus, so you're basically free to uh, do whatever you want because it can't do anything to your dinosaurs. Next up, we got three copies of the uh, Soul Devouring Oviraptor. Next up, we got the Tyranno Infinity. Uh, just kind of, I guess, a follow-up play. If everything goes south, you got your one-shot potential OTK. Then we got Baby Cerasaurus, then Triple uh, Terra... Did they change the name, man? Pteranodon? Uh, and then we got two copies of the Old School Drac Aiello. Um, and then uh, we got three copies of Instant Fusion, three copies of Reinforcement of the Search, whatever dinosaur I want. And then we got three copies of Terraforming, three copies of Festival Spinning. So uh, this card says, set two field spell cards with different names directly from your deck to the field, one on each side. While either of those cards remain face down on the field, neither player can activate or set other field spell cards. That's a really interesting card. Uh, really good for any deck that really wants those field spells. And of course, the field spell Dragonic Diagram to really help out with that play of one printer just trying one other card you control. Similar to, I mentioned before, Dinosaurs with the Metal Foes was a really good combo. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that vid, uh, I'll try to link it down below and you guys can see like how good it is. It's like a really good mix up. But yeah, it can technically hurt other decks. Uh, with, well, this can hurt other decks. I mean, it also gains a boost of 300. It's pretty much irrelevant. The most important part is just the destruction. And then we got uh, two copies of Lost World. And then we got the nine pillars of the Yang Zing. So you can try to lock your opponent uh, via other uh, means uh, as well. Uh, for the extra deck, we got one copy of the new card, Sea Monster Theseus. Then we got uh, Elder God Norden. This one, no, okay, we were in the OCG. I was like, what the heck? They just banned <laughs> when new band that came out I didn't know about? Okay, so the TCG is that one. And then we got Ultimate Token. We got Cloud Castle. We got Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. We got Naturi Beast. We got Denlong, we got the True King VFD, we got Enterprise Near, we got Utopia, uh, regular Utopia, we got Lightning, regular, and then we got the Logia Adolka, uh, uh, Papillar Operative, and then we got Sky Blaster Castell. Now, like I said, there, there is two builds, so I want to go over the other one over here. So this is the one that, if Rescue Rabbit goes to three, th th you guys are going to have to swap some cards, but for the most part... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be really good if Rescue App goes to three, especially again I feel like it's a hint with that new vanilla coming out in the game But you guys can let me know if you think Rescue App will go to three or let me know if you guys think we'll be too broken at three Maybe they'll do it too. I know I feel like something will happen to Rescue App because no one's really playing Rescue Rabbit But uh, again, uh, anyways two caboozles. Uh, we got the ultimate conductor Tyranno uh, True King Lothal Dam at three. It's pretty much the same then we got Baharos at two at flame uh, Kaiju at one again It's just so they can't Kaiju you then you got Zephyrano King of the Yang Zing Phantasmal Macellosaurus uh, Three Oviraptor one Rescue Rabbit unless we're getting three later on then we got Tyranno Infinity and then you got three guys of Sarasaurus uh, Three copies of Petrodon and two copies of Drac Aello. And then pretty much the lineup is the same. Um, now, there is something different uh, in the extra deck that I wanted to mention. Uh, so, uh, this this is all pretty much the same stuff. But there is, like again, a little difference here. Uh, we have two copies of Bahamut Shark. The reason why you guys... Uh, if, if so, uh, And before someone actually already commented, I probably should have messaged this earlier. Sabersaurus... Uh, well, let me go over this. Sabersaurus. Uh, it is a dinosaur that has 200 more attack than uh, Caboozles, but that new card guy is going to have 2,000 attack plus it's a water. The reason why you run Caboozles right now over Sabersaurus is simply because he is water. Uh, also, I mean, technically, this also works with water. So if you draw them, it's not like the uh, end of the world because you can destroy two monsters in your hand. So if you draw like some of the, the, the garbage cards, you have more access to it. This one lets you destroy the earth monsters. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, Sabersaurus is earth. Um, but uh, I think most people will probably do like the double triple caboozles and then also using the new uh, uh, The other uh, card I mentioned before the new vanilla that it's also level four that I forgot what it's called right? I don't know what they're probably gonna by the time they make it in TG, they're gonna change the name anyways I'll have to make a vid on it. But anyways, uh, yeah, you just play it simply because it's uh, actually going to be uh, water uh, and that's the only reason why. But yeah, anyways, Muhammad Shark is made by using waters, and then you have access to totally awesome to stop another play. So, uh, overall, it's a really, really strong play. If Rescue Rabbit goes to three, I think we're looking at a format where uh, the Zodiacs have a huge matchup. Like, this could be a very strong turn one board. But uh, anyways, you guys can let me know down below. Do you 
guys think that this that, that setup that you guys saw could it be beat by anything? Okay, Wing Dragon of Ross, Fear Mode, and Lava Golem like don't count. Like you guys aren't main decking that. And before again, I know someone's gonna be like, I'm main decking and it's gonna be a top comment. Let's get to the top comment, boys. But anyways, that is the deck. Hopefully you guys can have some with it. Like I said, it's a pretty budget friendly deck in the future. Because uh, again, this is gonna be a structure deck and then you throw in some of the true kings or uh, whatever variant you wanna play. And Dinosaur's looking to be a pretty decent deck next format. Whether you wanna play Metal Foes, but that one's not really too budget though, I will admit. And uh, maybe extra deck, uh, rip your wallet, unless you already have them. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys get a like button, a titty slap, and shout out to you for setting in the, the replay. Because again, that's a really strong turn one board. And it's realistic. It ain't no like, oh, I opened up with like one for one and glow up bulb. And then, you know, you know uh, really difficult things to open up with. Uh, you no. Although, again, there was one open up rap. Rabbit going to three next format. Uh, you guys didn't hear from me. I don't have connections with Konami. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm signing out.